In most of our previous videos, we showed you how to install SmartDNS Proxy on streaming devices like Apple TV, Nvidia Shield TV, LG, the list just keeps going on. But as the title of this video suggests, you can install your SmartDNS Proxy's DNS on your Samsung TV running Tizen OS as well. So Samsung actually locks down various apps based on the Samsung TV model number. So you can't watch BBC iPlayer outside of the UK. And the same goes for Vudu outside of the United States, depending on their model number. You can still download apps for those TVs, but you just can't watch or stream anything on it. With that out of the way, let's see how you can set up SmartDNS Proxy on a Samsung Smart TV, shall we? First off, if you haven't already, go to smartdnsproxy.com and create a free trial account for 14 days by entering your name and email address and etc. There's no credit card required, so that's a bonus. Next, turn on your Samsung Smart TV and press the menu on the remote control. And then go to network and choose the network status to select your current Wi-Fi name. For instance, my home Wi-Fi is called Backave, so I'll be selecting that and then select IP settings. From here, switch DNS settings to enter manually. So enter the DNS server or smart DNS closer to your physical location. So if you're in Canada, enter the IP address of a Canadian server from the list. Don't worry, I'll leave a link to the complete list in the description below. Wait for the internet connection test to be completed and then restart your smart TV. Next, unlike Google and OpenDNS, which are OpenDNS servers, the ones you're entering right now are private DNS servers. So you need to activate your IP address in smart DNS proxy servers. To do so, just go to smartdnsproxy.com and log into the account you just created. Under the account section, click on activate IP address. Once you see the three check marks, you're good to go. Remember, when your PC router IP changes, our service will stop working for you. You will need to log into SmartDNS Proxy so our system will check your IP address and add your new IP to our database. Then you'll be able to continue using our service. Now restart your Smart TV and it will start using SmartDNS Proxy automatically. To verify that though, open the Netflix app and then you'll be able to watch Netflix US from anywhere. Check out our other video that we've done on how to set up SmartDNS Proxy on various other operating systems and streaming devices. You can also set it up as a VPN on your router or share your PC Android VPN over Hotspot. We've done a separate video for that, so click on the YouTube cards to watch that. Obviously, you own a Samsung Smart TV, so keep an eye out for our tips and tricks video that we'll put out real soon. And if you fancy, click on that notification bell if you want to get notified every time we put out a video. As always, I'm Vamzig, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.